Hi, Hi, we're John and Leah. Leah. And these are things that Americans miss the most when they move to the UK. We found this article mm -hmm. and we just thought, let's chime in on it. Yeah, let's chime in. You guys from America, you'll be able to relate and know all these products. We know some of them, mm. but we also don't know all of them. So let us know more information about these products and in the if comments. we're missing out on anything. Absolutely. Mm. Right, okay. So this girl moved to the UK. What does she miss first? Bounce fabric softener sheets. Oh, come on. Very specific. Why do you miss softener the sheets? sheets? Come on. It's like, like saying you, we haven't got fabric softener. Yeah. But maybe because their sheets are not liquid. Maybe that's why she loved it. Well, it says America is pretty big on tumble dryers. And whilst they do exist in the UK, they're much less popular. Yeah. And so, yeah, it says our dryers utilize steam to dry our clothes. Yeah. Um, or Whereas we theirs. let it dry naturally, but she would normally chuck the sheets in the dryer with the yeah. wet clothes and 30 minutes later they'll be dry and static free. Hang on a minute, but that's got, has that got anything to do with the sheets? Or is it just the fact that they've got really good dryers over there? I don't understand because surely, yeah, we use steam in our tumble dryers, which is why if you tumble dry it, it comes out soft. Yeah. So there's no need for the sheets. But each to their own. If she misses them, let us know let's... if these are worth Getting, also, you know. maybe these are things that we need to order on Amazon or yes. something and we need to try it out for we sure. We should test out these products. So that we can really see if they're life changing in a way. But yeah. let's be real, Joel, we don't use a tumble dryer. No, we don't. We hang our washing our clothes up. up. Yeah. It's so Dries peasant. Naturally. It's so peasant, isn't it's it? It's so peasant, People but it's are like, so natural. What are you guys doing? We're like, just hanging our washing out. We're just trying to save the planet. <laughs> um, the next one is oh. Little Debbie's snack cakes. Do you remember these? We tried these. I thought they were going to taste like UK mini rolls made by Cadbury made yeah. mini rolls. But they didn't. We thought these were awful. They were. The ones we tried were absolutely gross. Um, I think they were that brand. I think they were Little Debbie's. Didn't we buy them from Kingdom of Sweets or did we buy them out there? I think it was Kingdom of Sweets and they were crushed in the packet a little bit and they were just, the chocolate was not good. It was just very processed, as you'd expect, but the ones yeah. in the UK, the mini rolls in the UK, taste like They taste nice. really nice. They don't taste like trash. The um, the cake's quite fluffy, the cream's not too heavy. Um, I suppose each to their own, like you say. Well, she does say maybe it's just her nostalgia, so maybe it just reminds her of being a kid. Yeah. Also, how funny are the little like pictures on these products? So like, funny. Little Debbie. Little Imagine Debbie. someone in the UK trying to pass that in a meeting, like, I've got this idea for a product, it's called Little Debbie, and we're gonna put her. Got on. a photo. Of this her. is Debbie. Um, she looks like she's from Tennessee. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> good. Imagine that. I love that. So. Funny. I swear, there's quite a few of those as well. Yeah, always there's some woman on the picture, yeah. like whether it's Auntie Da 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 or Granny yeah. Granny Da Da Da, and you're just like, this is fantastic. <laughs> the wholesome feel. Yeah. Right. This okay. next one is called a leaf. A leaf. A leaf. A lever. a lever, you miss a lever, which apparently is a painkiller, which is naproxen sodium. Right. And apparently you have to have a prescription to get it in the UK, whereas in America you can just buy it off the shelf. Wow. Which is great. I love America for buying medication and stuff. Off the shelf. You guys don't need prescriptions for anything. It's really good. You're it's like, great. got tonsillitis. They're like, here you go, here's some amoxicillin. You're yeah. like, wait, I don't have to go to the doctors, get an appointment, get seen. I don't know. I, yeah. I made that one up, but it's likely you could probably buy it over oh, definitely. the counter. I always buy melatonin when I'm out in um. Can't in remember America. what that does. Sends you to sleep. <laughs> she can't get it in the UK, so yeah. I always get it. And if I can't sleep, I take two and then I'm like... Really? Yeah. What else, can, what else do you get a stock up on? What else? That's the only That's thing. thing. Actually, another thing is the next one, Crest <laughs> Toothpaste. So Crest Whitening oh, Strips. Yeah. And lots of the Crest Toothpaste has such a high amount of like peroxide in to yeah. bleach your teeth that it's illegal in the UK. So anytime Brits go to the US, they're always stocking up on Crest. Because, yeah, like you said, we can buy Crest here, yeah. but it's just watered down version. Yeah. You, e, EU laws, UK laws, don't really mm. know if we're not part of Europe anymore. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I can see why people stock up. Mm. Good for them. Yeah. Get your Crest teeth. It's Get probably it. why Americans have got better teeth than us, isn't well, it? Exactly. Well, they say better. They've got whiter teeth, that's for sure. They've got whiter teeth. Uh, There's the next one. We don't relate to this. We don't know what this is. <laughs> Well, it's a bar of soap, but it's ivory soap. Ivory so it soap. must just be this really famous brand. It must be like the equivalent of Dove. 
Okay. You know like how oh, all, yeah. all, I feel like old people yeah. tend to have a Dove soap bar. Mm. What, what would be the other soap? Or that one that says pears on it. <gasps> Imperial Lava. Imperial, Imperial Leather. Lava. No way. Yeah. The whole time I've been calling it Imperial Leather. Leather? Why? Oh my gosh, I don't Imperial know why. Imperial Leather, because it lavers up. <laughs> it's leather! It is leather! It's leather! I can't believe Leah Hadzak is as outsmarted me. Joel, I just read the packet. I'm not smart. But you, you, you <laughs> thought I just read it lathered Because I thought it lathers up, so I was like Imperial Lather. When you said that, it made so much sense that I was like, no way. I've just made up that it was leather. It's Imperial Leather. leather. That doesn't make sense. Maybe they want it to be like smooth, like leather, like, but, but lather makes so much more sense. Anyway, back to the American stuff. Okay. Ivory, Ivory soap. soap. She said, um, there's no shortage of soap in the UK. However, if you're a purist like me, the fact that ivory isn't sold here is a serious shame. Right. What's a purist? Just someone who's really pure? Mm, really pure. They like everything done a certain way, so... A purist isn't necessarily a good thing. Right. Because, like, I don't want anything impure. Except, yeah, I don't want anything that's not... Not this. Not that. Mm -hmm. Okay, I've been so desperate for a bar of 90% pure stuff that I've paid an exorbitant amount on Amazon. Wow. Wow. That is brand loyalty. That is real. Some yeah. people are really, like, unbelievably loyal to some things. Mm -hmm. We're not. Very few things. I don't think I'm not. Heinz. I'm loyal to Heinz. Heinz beans. Like Heinz beans, Heinz ketchup. I'd never get own brand beans or ketchup. Yeah, I know you wouldn't. Mm. And also, tea. Like, I, I'm i not super loyal to any, but I, I like the regular brands and I don't like to veer away into brands I don't know yeah. and I haven't tried. Mm. But I wouldn't pay like a zillion no. pounds to have yeah. it delivered. I to might me. pay for Marmite if I lived in the US to be imported because I love Marmite. Do you have that on the reg? No. no. Most days. I'm not like, no. No, I don't eat enough bread for that to happen. Okay, but. okay. next one is La Croix. Oh. La Croix. How do you say it? La Croix, sparkling water. Would it be La Croix? Croix. La Croix. La Croix. Because I'm trying to think of another word that ends in I-X that's kind of French sounding, but you, you just drop the X. La Croix. La Croix. Croix? Croix. Cree, O-I. I have no idea. Let us know how you say it. I've got to find out. Okay. How do you, like, yeah, I've got to, I've got to Google that. Let me go on. I've had LaCroix before in America and it's so good. I absolutely love it. I wish we had it here in the UK. How to, have you tried it then? Well, you can get it occasionally in Costco here in the UK, but yeah, it's good. It's sparkling water and it doesn't taste sugary. It's just sort of flavored with fruit. The problem is everyone's pronouncing the brand wrong. La hein, is pronounced La Croix, not La Croix or La Croix. Oh, La Croix. La Croix. Did we say that? No, we said I Cruy. said La Croix, because you said La Croix. La Croix. La Croix. So it's La Croix. La Croix. Okay. Well, I love La Croix and I wish it was here in the UK because this is the sort of thing that I could try and kick my Pepsi Max habit with because it gives me the fears. And it's the just fizz. healthier. We do like the fizz. The fizz, the tingle at the back of the throat. Fizz. Like, that's what I need. I can't relate because I'm not really into sparkly things. Okay, that's all right. We're not all fancy. No, you can't all be. <laughs> oh, the next one. Hang on a minute. Yeah, Hang I know what minute. you're thinking. I, I know what's going through your little brain. <laughs> Honestly. It says, Nabisco Saltines. Mm. And one part of me thinks that these might be the snack that I've been looking for for a really All long my. time. Yeah. Ever since trying what I thought was a cracker, but what was it? And now I can't find it ever again in America. Yeah. I just I can't pinpoint what it was, but when I taste it, I'll know. You guys helped us so much with trying to find this mystery cracker that Leah tried and didn't know what it was. Oh We've never gosh. been able to find it, but maybe the Nabisco saltines could be it. We've tried other saltines, but not Nabisco. These. Is that the box? Oh, we tried the premium ones. Is that Nabisco? We tried the original premium. Oh, you remember what we've tried. So yeah. You're very good at remembering. Thank you, yes. Um, <laughs> you're like, correct, I correct. am. Yes, I very much am. Um, but we need to find Leah her saltines because she's just, she won't rest until she's found For them. anyone unfamiliar with the story, we went to an Airbnb. The host very kindly left a, a, a hamper, was it? Yeah, just the host some put some snacks in a little hamper for on our arrival. We arrived at like 2 a.m. So of course we hoovered them, ate everything, and then we were like, 
what were those crackers? Because I don't think she left the box. She left like an unopened sleeve from inside the box. Yeah, I bet it so had we never two saw it. and she yeah. left just one. Otherwise, she would have just left the whole package yeah. in. So annoying. Killed me. Yeah. So the next thing that she missed was Dunkin' iced coffee. I don't know why that iced coffee was any better than the rest. But. Um, obviously the only iced coffee I've really tried is Starbucks, yeah. which is great. What I think Dunkin' must add loads of sugar to theirs because it's Probably. Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah. Like, they're gonna add sugar to that iced coffee. Oh, this has pumpkin in it. Stop. We just I done a video. Pumpkin. We just done a video about all things autumn and yeah. fall and all the pumpkin obsessions, so of course. They've got a pumpkin on the oh, billboard gosh. for it. No, no, no. So yeah, she misses that. Can't relate. No. And lastly, everything from Trader Joe's. We love a bit of Trader Joe's. We, love. we went once and it was brilliant. It was just as good as everyone told us it would be. I just really enjoyed the experience, the vibe, the mm -hmm. trolleys. We just love the, the price, Trader Joe's. Yeah. The selection. Yeah, everything was great. Yeah, I'd like to think that that would be my local if yeah. I was uh, in living Same. in America. And the best part is we left the Trader Joe's and our Uber driver was, was like... Fantastic. He was like waving at us like that and we were like, he's so happy. He was buzzing. Yeah. He was just like the happiest guy ever. That was really good actually. Yeah, yeah. that was really fun. Oh, America. <sighs> we miss you America, we'll be back soon. As soon as we're allowed, we'll be there. Yeah, we will. Well, thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like and subscribe. We post videos every single week. Don't forget to click the notification bell to get a little notification when we upload a video. You'll be the first to know. And check out our other channels as well. We've got three more channels. We've yeah. got those two Brits. We've got Joel Wood, we've got Leah Hats. Go check it all out. Yeah. Tons of content. And we'll see you next time. See ya. Bye. Bye.